<laughs> setting up my set for the news. Setting my set up for the news. Okay, time to zoom in and see what we have here. Holy shit. Yes! 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 Oh, would you calm down? Hey, everybody, it's me, Nerfman16, Richard Kid here on YouTube, and that, if you want to announce yourself, I am Ultraman Ginga. And yes, one of my predecessors has been legal on Crunchyroll. Now, if you please click on the link so you can figure this out. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't I? And hello, Force Powers again. So yeah, uh, if you let me go, I can explain it in full detail. Fine, you can do that. But I will cross shoot you if you act like whatever that was again, Daniel Bryan. Doesn't matter what you think. That's an Austin. No oh, wait, Hulk. Either way, you would make a great wrestler. That and your many predecessors. What the hell is wrestling? Uh, oh no, that Vince McMahon. Look, I got this from here, okay, man. Fine. You can go fly! So yeah, uh, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I know I'm a little bit behind when it came to making anything with it, but I am aware, I did watch at least, well, I'm about to watch uh, an episode of the show, but turns out, um, hang on, that it's going to only show eight episodes a, a month. Basically, starting November, they're gonna release every a few a few episodes a month. Um, all 39 episodes, when it comes to the full series, can be bought by premium members. Um, I'm technically not a premium member; I'm one of those free users. So it's gonna be cool to get eight episode batches instead of just waiting week to week like you would with any Toku. So thank you, Fun no, not Funimation. Uh, thank you, Crunchyroll. Very, 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 very much for securing the rights to this from uh Subarashi. I damn it, I don't know the company's name, but it's from the guys who normally do Ultraman. Uh, Subaraya Productions. Hey, now I got it. Hey, I can finally get a name right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the only only other awesome news I have, cause. As far as Toku goes, this was like the most earthquaking news I've ever seen, aside from like new toy updates when it came to Drive. But they'll probably end up being in the in the show eventually. I've seen episode two; it's not bad. It enhances the investigation, and I was kind of right on a few angles. Um, the cop tires look okay; they look like a good um. Uh, again, another main, if not secondary, heavy attack. Um, so yeah. Since I really got nothing, uh, here are my thoughts so far on a couple of things, if you give me a minute. Um, the first of which is being Marvel's Civil War. Um, if those who don't know, that was an event way back in the 2000s. Basically being a metaphor for the Patriot Act. For more on that, I'll, have, I'll leave you a link to the entire history of that comic book event if you guys really want to know. The only thing to catch my eye about it is that a lot of what was going on would be staying in the main storylines for any superhero that was affected by it. Why am I asked talking about this? Well, turns out Marvel Studios wants to use slightly of it, um, slight uh, like a slight characterizations of those events to be well a jumping on point for Phase Three. I'll just use it. Ooh, you know what? I'll use an official. View image. Perfect. Now, another major problem, at least uh, Marvel-wise, is that they don't really have the rights to Spidey. Sony still does since 2002. And even though those movies have been slowly losing their money um, time after time, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I mean, if you're if you are if you really want them in the in the Avengers like me, yeah, that might happen. Uh, I just don't really see it, cause though this is a good event, it'll probably be a Marvel movies 
Marvel Studios' own version of the, of of uh, the storyline. It might just be loosely adapted, like the famous uh, bit at the end of the arc when Cap and Iron Man was pretty much beating the living crap out of each other because they were opposing sides. Iron Man was for the registration. Uh, Cap wasn't and thought everyone has the rights to pretty much be private about their uh, uh, secrecies, their secret identities, their lives for the sake of not only their families, but probably for the world for some cases. Um, so yeah, um, also Danny Jr. going to be in Iron Man, not Danny, uh, being in uh, Captain America 3 was really good news. Since he is technically allowed to do other people's movies with them as long as they cross over to bring Avenger style money. Um, I'm kind of okay with it that R.E.J. said yes to it. Um, for Donnie Jr., I mean, this guy had one hell of 180 for his career. For those who don't know, uh, he had a really bad 90s. Less said the better. Um, and that's really much it. Um, as far as DC goes, uh, turns out they they had a schedule release for their so-called Justice League movies, and I just did the math. I would be turning 30 by the time they make it to the part 2 of that movie. Let alone setting up everybody's backstories. I just realized you are watching an MSN ad and not Justice League. Uh, my bad. So yeah, um, my thoughts on everyone else's uh, movies coming out pretty soon with their DC schedule. Um, it looks okay. Uh, I am kind of upset that... They had to redo um, Flash's uh, story ever since they had the TV character. But I was like that before with uh, Superman Returns. Uh, boy, again, less said the better for everybody here. I mean, I was okay with it at first. It's 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 uh, it's a little bit of everything. You never know what I'm going to be today. Um, so yeah, one last non-Toku related thing. I might as well just call this retro news. Um, Doctor Who, I'm just doing a, pretty much an update on where I am, uh, Series 8-wise. I passed Oriental Express with Mummy. I thought that was a really good mystery episode. I'm happy that it turned out a little bit okay. The resolution with Clara stopped continuing her adventures after being such, so negative about the last couple trips she's had is kind of anticlimactic. I am going to take, I don't know who said it best. I want to say IGN or maybe Last Angry Geek, but um, I am looking forward to more episodes. I'm looking forward to the Christmas special because they got they secured Nick Frost for those who don't know of the Cornetto trilogy fame. Uh, the Cornetto trilogy, of course, being Shaun of the Dead, uh, Hot Fuzz, and just last couple of years released uh, World's End, which I have seen. I Kind of like, um, it made me really think a lot about what I'm currently going through in my life. So that's kind of cool and yet kind of very, very scary. Uh, anyway, so with all that said, uh, I am very happy for all the news here. I'm happy that DC's having a plan at least after Dawn of, Ju after Dawn of Justice. Uh, sorry for the obvious noises from my camera. My tripod is straighter than usual so in case I tip over I just want to say this was a Nerf N16 retrograde here on YouTube and anything you want to add who are those people and why do they have their own universes cuz marketing That's exactly what I thought and I am Ultraman Ginga and I will ultra live later you know he's getting better at this him and victory if I ever get that Ultra Act release. Oh, seriously, Bandit, get on that uh, Ultraman Victory Ultra Act, because that would be pretty cool. Anyway, for reals, guys, uh, this is great news all around, and um, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.